hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. So, <laughs> probably a lot of things. Um, it's probably around business and family. Mm -hmm. So, seems like it's always you get to a certain point and then there's the pullback <laughs> and um and I don't I don't know what to do to get to the next to get okay. past that, that point so give there's me an always example a lot of momentum. it gets to a certain point what do you mean it gets to a certain point so, so business will get to a certain point of momentum and maybe I'm going for a promotion to go to the next level and help more people. Mm -hmm. And then the momentum just falls off. It just dies. Okay. So what's on the other side of that? What would it look like if you got to the other side of that? It would be helping massive, massive amounts of people. Um, okay. Your, your energy is just dropping as you talk about this. Because it's 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 a it's been a cycle for about two years. I get that, but do you want to help massive amounts of people? Oh, absolutely. See, that's not coming up true. Really? Yeah. So that's yeah. the actual problem. Okay. Okay. So, first thing that pops into your head: what's what is the big issue in helping massive amounts of people? You said, what is the issue? Yeah. What, what would be horrible about ha helping massive amounts of people? Uh, I don't see anything horrible about it. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe if I had to like try to create something, having that many people call on you, <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe. How do, you, well, how do you feel when you think about you're working with massive amounts of people and they're calling on you for help? I like helping people, so I don't... I know you like helping people. Think about massive amounts of people calling you for help. How does that feel? Well, I don't necessarily think that all of them would be calling me. It would be... they, But they would still be supported. Okay. Notice how you're not answering my question. So... <laughs> Okay, so how do I feel about help? Sorry, about massive amounts of people calling me. Um, well, that would be stressful if I had massive amounts calling me directly. Okay. That would be that would be stressful. So I want to know: Are you trying to make sure that you don't have massive amounts of people calling you? I didn't think I was. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I am. That's coming up true. Okay. Right? <laughs> so are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure your business doesn't go to the next level so you don't have massive amounts of people calling you? Oh, yes. I, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you suddenly get to a point where you can help massive amounts of people. Are you responsible for the results of every one of those people? No, no, See, it's not. not coming up true. Right. So if you, if you make yourself responsible for everyone you help, that just burdens you more and more. So you'll make sure you don't have that burden. And well, I, in the, I think that in the past, that is how I felt. And mm -hmm. so I'm working through that because I am a, people person and I, I take personal responsibility. I think I take more personal responsibility I have in the past, but that's something that I'm working through. Okay, so that's still running in your subconscious. So 
are you willing to destroy the belief that you're responsible for every person you help? Yes, I have to. How will people respond to you if you try to help them and, and it doesn't help, that you don't succeed? How will people respond to me? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. What do you think could happen if you're there? Don't worry, I got you. And then it doesn't really help. Say that part again. I'm sorry. How do you think people you. may respond if you if you tell them, "Don't worry, I got you. Your business is growing. You got more people. I got you." And then it doesn't help. Okay, let me make sure I'm understanding. If I tell them that I'm there for them and to help them grow their business, and then it doesn't work for yeah. them, yeah, how will they feel about me? Yeah. Um. Well, hopefully they will. I'm not sure how they'll feel, but I would hope that they would um, know that I'm genuine in my efforts and that we all have to go through certain things. Everything may not necessarily go as, as we desire and the time frame that we desire. Okay. That's a good hope. What if they don't feel that way? Are you okay with that? Oh, yes. Because I, I know my heart and I know that my effort. Um, and so... I realized that um, that I can't I can't bear everybody else's burden if I'm going to get to the next level and help the people that want to be helped and 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 I know that people have to understand that it takes personal effort and we all have to get past our stuff, which is what mm-hmm. I'm doing now, getting past my stuff to be okay. help. See, but there's the problem is. People have to understand that it takes personal effort. Yeah. Some people don't. Right. And I'm okay. okay. I know. And I get that. But this, and this is how insidious it can be. If people yeah. have to understand that it takes personal effort, mm-hmm. then you're going to make sure people understand that you're putting in your personal effort and it takes their personal effort. And if, you, if they don't get that, it doesn't sit right with you. And if there's a possibility they're not going to get that, you're going to make sure you don't work with enough people so that that happens. You have to Mm. minimize the amount of people you work with so that you minimize the chances of someone not getting it. So so you you shrink your business, right? So people, here's the thing. People don't have to get that. People are free will. People can think whatever the hell they want. You want to be okay with them thinking whatever that, oh my God, you know, you changed my life. You helped me. You helped my business. I'm forever grateful. Or you, tr- you tried your best. It didn't work. I get it. It's, I, maybe I didn't put enough effort or I freaking hate you. I spent money on you. I got no results. I will, I will tell everyone never to work with you. You have to be willing all those possibilities. If you're not, you will keep your business small. I'm ready for that. Okay. So <laughs> are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure everyone sees how hard and how valuable you are in your business? Yes. Okay. How does that feel? Better, worse, the same, or different? Better. (laughs) Much better. All right. Okay. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.